hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to make your windows 11 faster and how you can speed up your laptop and make it run faster than before so right now i'm on windows 11 and it's really working slow and i saw i promise you that after applying the solution i'm going to share in this video you will definitely find a change and you will see the computer is working much faster okay so just follow the steps. The video can be long guys because I'm going to explain all the solution step by step. So the video can be lengthy, but do not skip any part. Watch till the end. Apply all the solution. Just make a quick restart and I'm very sure you will find the changes. The first thing that you have to do, you need to run the SFC scan so that you can scan your hard drive, Windows components and let you know that if there is any kind of problem. Okay, so just make a click on the search icon and type here cmd and then click on run as administrator click on yes now black window will be coming up you just need to type here s f c space over slash scan now and then on hit on enter so why i'm recommending you to do on the first step because this takes some time so while this will be scanning the PC, we can complete the other solution. Okay, so after doing this, you can minimize it. And in the next step, we need to disable the allow download from other PCs from delivery optimization. So just make a right click on the Windows icon and choose settings. Now from left in menu option at the bottom, you will find Windows update. Just click on it. Now scroll down a bit and here you'll find advanced options. Click on it and then under additional option you will find here delivery optimization. Just click on it and then here it says allow download from other PCs and it clearly says your PC may send parts of previously downloaded Windows update and apps to devices on your local network or on the internet. You just need to click on the toggle here and disable it once done just close it and now in the next step we have to disable a service from the windows services so for that again just make a right click on the windows icon and choose run the run box will be coming on the left hand corner you have to type here services dot msc and then click on ok so the services box is now up just click anywhere and then press the letter S key as in Singapore. And then you have to look for sysmain. Here it is. And you can see that the services is running and it's been set to manual. And now keep in mind this is the most important part because it really occupy a lot of CPU and the memory usage. So what you have to do just make a double click on it. And in the startup type, it might be either set to automatic or manual. You have to choose disabled. Once done, just click on stop. And it will take a second to get a stop and then click on apply and OK. After doing this, just close it. And now we also need to disable few startup application. So whenever you start your PC, there are many applications that boot along with your operating system. So that basically slow down your PC loading speed and even while you are using it because they run also in the background. So what you have to do just make a right click on the windows icon again and choose task manager. In the task manager on the top you will find a startup just click on it. And now here you have to look for the application the third party application that you don't need while the startup. Okay so like Microsoft team and skype these are the third party application that i use but i don't need that it should come automatically with the computer and i want that whenever i want to use it i can manually open it so what i have to do like skype just make a right click on it and disable it microsoft teams make a right click on it disable it microsoft edge i don't need it while the computer startup so i click on disable Steam, I don't use it. Just make a right click and go with disable. Similarly, you have to look for other application. In my case, I have these application. You might have some other application like Discord or any other. 
and keep in mind that if there is any audio file like this or any Microsoft file, you don't need to touch it. Okay, you just need to leave it as it is. You only need to disable the application that is a third party application or program like browser application that you have um, installed from your own self. Okay, so once done, just close it. And now we are remaining with another important setting that is disabling the background applications. So these application you don't need you don't use it but it's still they run in the background and they really slow down your pc so in order to just disable them make a right click on the windows icon and then click on settings so from left hand menu option click on apps and here at the top you'll find apps and features just click on it so here you will see the list of all the application that has been installed on your pc Okay, so what you have to do, you just need to look for the application that you don't use, that you don't require on your PC. So you just need to disable them or you can also go with uninstall. Like 3D Builder is from Microsoft Corporation, but I never used it. I have never used it. Neither I don't need in the future. So just make a right click on the three dot on the very right of it. Click on advanced options. And here you can see background app permission. Let this app run in background. It's all it's set to always. It means it run all the time. So click on the drop down and choose never. Okay. Now go back again. Go to apps and features. And similarly, you have to do with all other application that you don't need. You don't use. You have to disable them or you can also go and uninstall them. So like in my case, I have uh, this Candy Crush Soda Saga, I don't need, I don't use, I think I will never use it in future because I don't play this game. So what you have to do, just make a right click on, sorry, uh, click on the three dot and you can go with uninstall. So it's better to keep it uh, never, you can just disable or you can uninstall it permanently so that it can be completely removed from your PC. Okay, so you can uninstall, rest whatever if you are not sure about it you just need to follow the same steps just go to the three dot click on advanced options and this make sure that these application is being set to never so what will happen that all these application that will say that you will set to never they won't be running in the background and in results your pc will have a good performance because lower the application running in the background more will be the performance okay so just close everything once done and now we are remaining one more step that i want that you should go ahead and that is cleaning the system file or temporary file from your pc so for that uh, just click on system and from here you will find a storage just click on storage and you can see that it will show you the uh, space the storage occupied by programs and features and here you will find an option cleanup recommendations so just click on it and it will show you the temporary file file sync to the cloud unused app so this will also let you know that what are the application that you never use it and they are still running in the background so what you can do just you can see there are the downloads that is occupying 4.19 gigabyte recycle bin i think you have already deleted but they are still in the recycle bin so let's say if you want to delete recycle bin you want to empty it and you also want to empty your downloads then you can also check this box and then click on clean up 819 mb so this will just uh, clear the file that we're occupying the hard disk space the ssd space and 819 mb will be free from my drive okay and in result this will definitely increase the performance all right once done, you can also check with unused apps and it will let you know that these are the application that you don't use it. Okay. I think many of them or almost all of them, you will see that you don't identify. So what you have to do, just check all of them and then click on clean up 869 MB. Okay. So whichever you don't use, just check that. Cupcake Glow, I don't use, I don't use this one and then click on clean up 1.97 gigabyte that's it this will definitely boost your performance make your windows 11 much faster speed speed up your laptop 
and I'm very sure that you will be having a great changes. And after that, finally come back to the command that we ran. And here finally we get the message, the verification 100% completed. Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations. So it means that you have, you are all set from this part and you have already optimized your PC. So that's all guys, make sure that you just uh, restart your PC after applying all this solution and it bring the changes and if yes then make sure please like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye